I'm no handyman, but I'm working on something right now. We got this chair from the street. It was just lying there and I thought it just completely fits with the apartment and it looks decent like it's not in a bad shape in any way The leather looks fine. Now everything's great It's just these parts these metal parts which are ruined completely and I want to restore them because Alina's grandpa He has a lot of different stuff. He does a lot of handyman stuff and I think after I've taken these screws out I'm going to go to the garden and see what I can do to repair this because I want to like just file all of this and then afterwards paint it new so that the color somewhat matches this one it wouldn't match exactly because the leather is a bit brown a bit creamy but still it's better like that chair the problem was that it's just like the pillow is almost gone so like the ass almost hurts all the time and this thing is almost like always very uncomfortable so you cannot sit on that chair for a longer time but this chair is going to be nice so that's the plan for now stay in let's see what happens i'm curious too because i'm not really generally into these kind of stuff all right so the different parts of the chair have come out now if you see there are a lot of like dirty parts there like this part is almost brown and yellow so i want to put some window cleaner on it and like try to rub it out in these handles too i have to actually remove these parts this is also leather and then afterwards i can just completely either file it and then paint it again or i'll see what i can do now the thing is in germany you can get so many nice things just out of the street like people don't want to repair it that's why they just put it on the street and somebody else can take it it's like the typical quote of somebody else's trash is somebody else's treasure. Also because um, I got it for free. Now we didn't invest anything inside. I also want to keep the repair costs as minimum as possible. So whatever thing I can get for free from the grandparents gun, of course, like everything's for free. But whatever thing I can get from there, I will try to get it. Uh, I don't want to go to Bauhaus or some Rea, something else as long as it's not necessary so keeping the cost minimum they stapled it here no with the wood or with the metal whatever this is but anyways we don't we don't care about it i just want to clear this part clean it and then i just restore it so that it actually fits the apartment and it also looks nice because earlier we used to have a complete brown furniture and now we completely shifted to like white somehow it is the skin color of alina and i <laughs> both of us but anyways that's what i'm going to do i'm going to fix it and see where it goes So the thing is I really have no idea how this chair project is going to turn out to be but I'm definitely excited there are always things you learn even if the projects are like left unfinished if there's a problem then of course I can always ask Alina's grandpa for some help no, but I think it's a nice way to spend your days especially when you have vacations from the university that's like so much fun you can do whatever you want throughout the whole day and that's what I'm doing I'm just like really enjoying having the freedom of doing what you want investing time in yourself and now in this chair so this right behind me is um, Alina's grandpa's complete handy workshop and you can get all kind of tools inside I actually found the stuff that I already wanted to find and I also went to the Bauhaus and I figured out what kind of paints I want to put and these are so this is just this white spray paint um, this is supposed to be put on the heating too, but he said the person said there that you can also use it on plastic Because plastic doesn't need much and then there is like foundation You have to put the foundation first before you put the paint or before you put the makeup Sad so what I'm going to try is I'm going to just um, File a bit the sides or the places where it has already been damaged 
so that it is a bit rough and then it can take the paint properly I'm no professional in these kind of things and this is the reason why I'm just going to try and see where it takes me now the thing is I'm wearing completely black stuff and this is white so once I'm going to start filing it then it will start sticking to the t-shirt I'll try my best not to do it so that I can save my t-shirt and nothing bad happens and then afterwards I'm still skeptical if I want to try the paint the same day maybe I'll go back home and see first if the screws fit at all if they don't fit then I have to take them out and then put some new uh, screws inside so this is again something I will see how things progress and then afterwards I'll decide all right so this is the moment of truth these are the screws that I got from Adina's grandparents garden so these are different they should fit with each other and with the armrest like on the top part the thing is because like this is so thin I need to get something which is really like very similar and it doesn't have so much difference height is pretty different of this screw than the other black screw it is longer but because it has more width here I can actually put it inside here and even if it comes out a bit more then it wouldn't really disturb anything that's the only sad part of this chair that like this area is torn but otherwise the chair is like in a really extremely nice condition I'm just going to see if it fits perfect it fits so I didn't have to spend any money at all on the screws spending a few cents to be honest because like you can use that paint uh, I spent 15 euros on that paint and foundation combined but again like that paint and foundation will stay forever and anytime anything happens in the house we can just spray it and all right so now we want to clean the different parts of the chair so that it's it just looks better when it comes out in the end the leather got a bit yellow but it doesn't really disturb so much because all white things they get slowly and slowly yellow but again these parts will also not be visible now i'm just using some kind of this glass reiniger it's looking nice now that's perfect it's almost gone all right now i want to do this the back side of the chair and see how much of it goes away all right so the other side is also really dirty all right so this is not really going away this side but anyways this is going to be covered by the armrest again and if you're too hard the leather is actually breaking i mean you can see how the chair was supposed to look this is the clear white and now it is like this it is somewhat brown the time is now to paint these with white i will do it in the bathtub so that even if some spray goes to the wall or something it's all white anyway so it doesn't disturb anything now i put some baking paper on the bottom so that like even though it's white but still like even if there's some paint going out it's like minimum and first I'm going to put a primer on top of this and then afterwards I'm going to put the white paint they actually already look really nice but I just made some noob mistakes that I didn't spray the paint properly like from the top so like it was really sometimes very close so the paint started dripping at some points but again I think like I'll make another coat after two hours or something once the paint is dried a bit all right so it's day two I just painted them yesterday and let them just dry and then I painted another coat on top of it by far it's like it looks really nice and it doesn't feel that it's old at all maybe I can show you like this look it looks completely white one thing I've learned though when you're using spray paint cover your face otherwise your nostrils will get completely white my nostrils the nose hair were like completely white after I was spraying with this paint and I didn't use the handkerchief like I did the first time I was doing it today and today I also had to record a video with Sammy now before I put the chair together I want to eat something real quick as bad as it looks it is really healthy I just put some broccoli some soya nuggets and some tofu inside losing some weight in the gym so it's been one week two kilos lost I'm still working on it so I was I think in January I was 99.8 right now I am 
and because now I have completely free time, no university, nothing, next two months will be completely dedicated for this thing. And I also started to keep a tab of what I'm eating and what I'm doing. So just seeing what I'm eating, how it is making my body respond so that I can have a better progression. Like right now it's great. Like I just started on 11th August and till 20th August, like some of the weight is gone. All right, so now is the time to put everything together. This chair is actually also functioning like a proper stool. Like I can just sit on it it's comfortable and I'll fix that part with those two parts I want to make it functional as soon as possible so that I can like actually sit and start working again yup so final montaging going on and then I'll update you I think I'll tell you something about how you can find these free things on the road Alright, so the chair is done now. Looks nice, it's painted, it's stable and it's not moving like it was moving before and looks super nice. Also all these scratches which are here on the side, they are completely gone. Alright, so the chair is super steady now, no problems at all, it's sturdy, it's not shaking it's really comfortable so the pillow from my last year became like this like it was already pretty thin but again if you're sitting here for a long duration of time it's just bad in that sense super excited to work on it now and now i can sit for longer times on this chair and just work on different stuff the best part is here in germany like people generally don't want to repair things so like it's maybe bad for them good for us or like for anybody who is into DIY stuff or like who wants to actually repair things and stuff like that you can just go on the street and you will see many a times there will be books outside the houses or there will be chair outside the houses and it will be written like zu verschenken and even if it's not written sometimes zu verschenken you can just see if the object that they are placing outside their house it's in an isolated place then it means that yes you can take it no problems it's not like you're taking somebody's like scooty or cycle or something like that it it will be clearly visible you have everything that you need to repair in the Bauhaus so like you can go to the local Bauhaus you will find screws you will find paint anything that you need to build a complete house to build any furniture like almost just anything plumbing everything so i'm seriously telling you there is no need to spend too much money on first-hand things in germany because most of the times the second-hand things that you get they are in pretty good shape and you can just repair them a bit and afterwards use it for your own projects or for your own usage so i'm telling you this is a very nice money saving tip so rather than like paying somebody to repair or fix something you can just do it on your own like watch some youtube tutorials or something and just like do it yourself this way alina and i also save money like we are taking things which are in a usable condition we make it better and then we use it and also like most of the times we save money by just going on eBay and if we have to buy anything we first actually see if there are some good secondhand stuff available if nothing is there on eBay then we just like buy it new things that we didn't buy secondhand and which we really didn't want to buy secondhand was the washing machine because again like you don't know what kind of clothes were washed in there before then the refrigerator because like uh, somebody else might be having meat and stuff and Alina doesn't like to have meat in her refrigerator then the sofa so that's it that is my chair super nice i just love it completely if there's something you repair too let me know in the comment section i'm really curious what kind of things you repaired or if you have some idea about things that i can do some diy let me know about it too also one quick announcement i will be in berlin on 23rd so like this thursday so if anybody wants to meet up just hit me let's see where we can hang out like i have lived in berlin for three months during my internship so like I know the places and stuff already so that's not an issue but still if I'm going in a new city then why not just meet some of you guys so yeah thanks for watching see you in the next video